All right then, <clears throat> let's start the second game of well, second game that I'm recording this evening. Uh, hopefully, things will go as well as they did in the first game. Although, admittedly, that was against a kind of mid diamond player, so he wasn't a very impressive person to win against. You know what? It happens. I can't win against uh, top level players every day of the week, uh, or even any day of the week. <laughs> oh god. Um, so, quick bit of background before I talk about the game. Uh, that guy's name roughly translates to um, to the the verb to like in Japanese, which has the same connotations uh, as it does in English. Like, oh, that guy's so cute, do you like him? Uh, that, stuff like that, you get the idea. Um, so it, it's just, it's funny, it's funny, that's all. Um, so this is Antigua Shipyard, which is uh, generally considered to be a pretty good map, um, as far as maps go. Uh, the reason being that it's a big map, it has a lot of expansions, there's some interesting ways it plays out depending on where you spawn. Um, and I got slightly supply blocked. Uh, I'm playing a Protoss vs. Zerg, so of course I'm going to be doing Forge Fast Expand. It's um, my absolute favorite. The maps I have vetoed are uh, a couple of absolutely terrible maps and maps that I cannot Forge Fast Expand on. Um, so let's go and check out what he's got here. Whoop. I'm going to have to go and build my Forge now. So I see him building a 14... what appears to be a 14 pool, so... or sorry, 14 gas, 13 pool, or 14, uh, 13, or 14, 14. Those are both very viable uh, Zerg openers, and they're actually fairly weak to my openers, so I'm not too concerned about them. So right now I can just leave that there. Um, I'm actually going to do one of my older variants of this build, which is the hyper aggressive um, version which is... you'll see it in a second. So just start by cannon rushing. So what does this do? This uh, will set him off guard. It, it means that he has to start producing... Um, he has to drag drones off the line in order to try to deal with these cannons. Um, whereas I am free to, whoop, um, start building my nexus and then continue cannon rushing. Um, the reason I'm doing this is just, is literally just to be annoying. So, let's see. If I place this right, whoop. And perfect, he's slipped through, and now I have a very solid little startup. Um, he is unable to um, expand as of quite yet, and I am free to lay down a proxy pylon over here. So now I'm starting up my gas consumption. Um, so this will get me into a good position to start getting a decent army size very quickly. Oh, whoops, I messed that up pretty badly. Um, I'm going to go for a very quick cybernetic score. Um, and then start producing a zealot. Uh, this zealot will allow me to do a lot more proper uh, maneuvering around. Right now I need to scout and see. He doesn't have a third base up. Okay, that's a good bit of information to have. Now I need to see, does he have his expansion up? If not, how close is it to being done? Okay, I am way ahead at this point. Like, unbelievably far ahead. So he's got a roach worn. Okay. So I need to start producing um, 
a lot of cannons pretty soon, because otherwise he will be able to just... He'll, he'll be able to just bust in and kill me. So I'm going to start getting a gateway, um, another pylon up here. Um, so right now I have enough um, supply to be able to defend this barely. I'm going to start producing cannons now. That, that actually that can is badly placed. Um, um, so I need to get more gateways because he is doing. If his roach bust goes through, then I'm in a serious amount of trouble. But these cannons, uh, the plus one weapons, and a couple of stalkers should be able to hold this off. So I'm going to go and start poking out to see what he's got going. Um, I also need to get some more pylons. Oh shoot, the other thing that could be happening right now is that he could be um, going for a Nidus bust, although that doesn't match his timings properly. Um, so I'm going to go and poke in. Whoop. Um, so... Uh, so now I've got four gateways up and I'm going to just throw up another four. Um, because the way this reasoning works is he is going to be barely defending a an all-in as it is because I have set him so far behind in terms of economy it's clear that he was planning some kind of roach bust but I've stopped that from being a possibility so all I need to do is hit a timing where he is unable to defend and he doesn't even have an expansion up. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing in this situation, um, because he, he's that that scout is not going to do much of anything. So now another pylon, and he is going to have no time to defend this. And. And let's see what I can make happen with this. Okay, so... Not as much as I would like. So that means that I'm going to throw down... Whoop. Whoop. So right now I'm just going to keep on pressuring this guy um, and throw down a an expansion. So, I'm not. Uh, this is not going to go exactly storybook um, because I don't have uh, any real way to bust through. But what I can do is put on enough pressure that he can't leave his base. Um, Whoop. Okay, now I'm going to have to retreat a little bit more. Whoop. 
I can just kill this. So right now I need to get a robo up. Okay, eight gateways off of one base is more than sufficient. Um, right now what I do want is vision over here. Uh, so now I have an expansion up, a third up I should say, and he does not. So I am in a good position. Um, so I will just retreat a little bit. Um, so just kill this. and um, start producing whoop oh shoot so he was trying to do a cute little wrap around there but I managed to um, outmaneuver him whoop oh shoot he's got infestors oh this changes the name of the game entirely So, so right now I need to get out a robotics bay immediately. Shoot, this is actually really bad. Um, So now if I just... there we go. That managed to buy me some time. I'm going to have to sacrifice some units, but it means that I won't lose the game. So right now I can just position myself here. Um, so... Oh, he screwed up his micro badly there. Okay, so now I've got a Colossus in place, so now I can defend this. Um... So now I've managed to make him waste energy on that, so I'm in a much better position. So... So I need to uh, get some more bases up. Whoops. Um, 
Uh, what do I need? I need another ground weapons upgrade. I do not have any colossi producing. That is a bad thing. Uh, little advantages whenever you can get them. Okay, so all of these guys need to go down here. So I need to get another Colossus in production. Build more stalkers! Let's take down... This is probably his last mining base at this point. And if I take it down, then I win. And there we go. That's a victory. Oh, my macro was so horrible that game. But still, um, through constant uh, pressure in the right uh, places, and um, most importantly, managing to keep him on two bases... Well, keep him economically behind for as long as possible. I managed to eke out a victory, even though I made some distinct mistakes, like the eight gates should have been six gates. I would have been able to produce just as many units, and it would have allowed me to start my robo faster. Um, also, I managed to lose a lot of sentries that I shouldn't have. Like, a lot of those attacks that he, were, he was making on my third, they would have been entirely worthless if I had had a proper sentry count. Also, attacking into that spine crawler line was, in retrospect, stupid. I was trying to put on pressure, but it really wasn't necessary. But uh, still, you see that I managed to win nonetheless. So that's this recording. Thanks for watching.